Well, it's 6.30 in the morning. Most of you guys are still in bed, or worse, on your way to work. I'm sitting here at a stoplight waiting to hit and cloaked. I'm gonna show you how glamorous my day is chasing piping plovers and other banded shorebirds. You're gonna enjoy this. All right, we're at the boat ramp. As you can see, the sun is trying to come up. This is my my rig. Well, we're underway. Just want to go over my yacht with you. My whopping 20 horsepower motor <laughs> does the job. Call this boat real sneaky, but uh, should be called real leaky. Got a lot of leaks in this boat. Good thing I got a good bilge pump, keeps it clean. Well, we made it to my first spot. I have to survey from that lighthouse all the way down through these flats. Well, walking around these flats, it's hot, it's wet, it's muddy. Some of the gear I have to bring with me, of course, binoculars, wide-brim hat so I can keep the sun off my face and my ears, the monopod for the camera, and the most important thing, the camera. But I also have to bring vest, water. Vest has rain protection, extra batteries, extra CF card, a dry bag for my camera if it rains. Heavy duty boots. Sloshing around the mud and the sharp rocks sometimes. But it's a nice morning. Sun's rising. Birds are already out there eating. Let's go get a few. Looks like our first guy of the day over here. Please, it doesn't take long. Piper. Get a closer look. Ooh, it looks like a piper from here. We're a long way away. But let's go get the binoculars on him. Well, he is our first piper of the day, but uh, he is an unbanded piper. So, we'll leave him alone and go find some of his relatives. These beachy flat areas are constantly changing. 
This used to be a shallow flat. I could just walk right across. And you can see some birds over there. But I'm going to go check out. And we got little yellow legs across the way. But storms, tides, current turn this little flat into a creek that I have to find a way across. But uh, we'll get them. So we found a shallow place to cross this little creek, and uh, now we're to the flats, and we're already greeted by a couple more birds. Another unbanded bird, but that flat over here, not sure how good you can see a video, but all those little white dots out there are shorebirds of some sort. Guarantee there's some piping plovers and snowies in there. We'll go find them. A couple other shorebirds we'll run out, run into out here. Ruddy turnstones and a Wilson's plover. We check them for bands too. They like to eat crabs up here in the low tide. And I see. Some piping plovers over there. I saw some with bands already. Well, it's time for me to go to work mode. So many birds out here for me to keep stopping and videotaping, but uh, I'll show you a Nebraska bird real, real quick. Just eating away. Great Lake piping plover over here. Very good uh, amount of endangered Great Lakes birds like the Nellis Pasco area. There's a little snowy plover, some resting black skimmers, some quite a few out here, some more over here. Well, this is when it gets hard. There's groups of plovers and shorebirds all over the place. And once you get through an area and you count, a raptor comes by and they spook. Most of them fly back to where they came from, but uh, it's very difficult not to recount the same birds, so you gotta kind of guesstimate. That's what's good about the banded birds, you know exactly if you've got them or not before. So, now I have to walk back where I already surveyed and do it all over again. It makes for a long day. Peace turn with a meal. Either trying to feed the baby or trying to get uh, some love in there. Great Lakes bird, pipe and clover.
Another fun part about my day is walking on these exposed flats. When you're down here, it actually looks like you're walking on the moon. It's anything but easy walking. You've got high spots, low spots, soft spots. Another glamorous part of my day. So, what do you think of that? That's just a taste of uh, my day. Hot, cold, wet, muddy, smelly, and uneven walking. All worth it though. It's fun being out here on the flats. Nobody else around. But when you're out here, you can see how easy this would be to lose. Hurricanes change the shape of the islands. And of course, if man puts seawalls up, that changes everything. So let's try to keep these parks as parks for the animals and the birds. Real quick. Just eating away.